Hello students, today we're going to talk about direct variation in your algebra class. Now the purpose of this is that at the end of this lesson, you should be able to solve problems with direct variation. Now, direct variation is usually defined by an equation like I wrote below, which is y equals kx, where k is called the constant of variation. Now, we use direct variation to determine how things are related. For example, if the number of hours that somebody works, or when we talk about the number of hours someone works and how that's related to how much they get paid, if we think about it, the more that somebody works, chances are the more that they're gonna get paid. The less they work, the less they're going to get paid. So in that instance where each one of those scenarios is affected by the other directly, where if one increases, the other one does too. That's a direct variation. For example, or another example would be, that other example would be the faster you run, the faster that your heart rates, or your heart beats. So in that instance, because the faster you run, the faster your heart beats, that's also direct variation. So now, let's work on determining if something is a direct variation or whether it's not? And if so, what's that constant of variation? Now remember, what we're first looking for is to determine if it's a direct variation. And if it is, it should look like y equals kx, which is what we have written right next to the question. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take each one of these problems and try and solve it for y equals kx. So the first thing we're gonna do for example one is to subtract 5x from both sides. So we're going to subtract 5x from the left side and from the right. We're going to be left with negative 6y equals negative 5x divided by negative 6. And we're left with y equals 5 sixths x So, in this example, we can set it up as y equals kx, can't we? Now, I moved that y equals kx, or a direct variation formula, right next to the equation so that we can play a little game of match. Notice how the x is right below it, we have the y, we have the equals, and the only thing that's missing, or the only thing we uh, that changed is our k. Now, because we can set it as y equals kx, it is a direct variation. Now, the second part of the question is, what is the constant of variation? Well. They're essentially asking, what is k equal to? Now, playing match, you should be able to determine that k, or your constant variation, is 5, 6, or 5 divided by 6. So as x increases, your y is going to increase also by a factor of 5, 6. Now, let's look at example 2. In example 2, asks you, it says y varies directly with x. And when they say it in that fashion, it means the y goes first and is equal to, and varies directly means it's going to be kx. Okay, so just to give you a quick example, y varies directly with x would look like y equals kx. x varies directly with y should look like x equals ky because whichever form or whatever variable is mentioned first, that's the one that goes before the equal sign in our equation. Now, looking back at the example they gave us, it says if y equals six when x equals two, then find the value of y when x equals eight. So notice they put a comma in here, and we usually, a comma or a period in math usually denotes that there's a separation in the equation. So that's what we're gonna do first. So first it says y varies directly with x. So to keep tabs, we are gonna write the equation, y equals kx. And we have to do two steps, essentially. Step one is to solve for k. Step two is to use k to find the missing variable. So, and in, either, in both cases, you're still going to have to use our equation y equals kx. Now, 
Because y equals kx, and in the first part of the equation it says y equals 6 when x equals 2, we're going to substitute those values in. So y was 6, x was 2, we're going to substitute that, and then to isolate the k we're going to divide 2 to both sides, we're going to find that k is equal to 3. So now we've, sol we've solved for k, which was relatively easy I think. For step 2, we're now going to use k to find the missing variable. And for the second part of the equation, or second part of the sentence, it says find y, so we don't know when y is equal to, when x is equal to 8. So we do know what k is. k we found from step 1 is 3, and x turned out to be 8. Therefore, y equals 24. So now we're going to do it again, but this time we're going to be given an ordered pair, and we're going to be asked to find the constant of variation. So, direct variation is y equals kx, and in this, they just want us to find the constant of variation, or k. So, y is equal to 5 because of our ordered pair, k and our x is equal to 2. So, since we're solving for k, we're going to divide by 2 to both sides, and find that k is equal to 5 halves. Same thing for number example 4, y equals kx. Our y happens to be 3, k happens to be 7. To isolate for the variable, we're going to divide by 7 to both sides, and k is equal to 3 sevenths. Pretty easy, right? Now, it's your turn. Try to solve problems 1 and 2, post your answers to Edmodo, first person will post, everyone else will just reply to that thread. That's all for now. See you guys next time.